Hey guys, good evening and welcome back again to your Unacademy Late English channel. I believe all of you are doing great, having a good time. So my dear students, since you all must be knowing that today I had planned a marathon on this particular channel, on your Unacademy Late English channel. But because of some health issues, I could not take that marathon and instead of that, I thought of taking one strategy video which is going to help you out in order to ease out your preparation for the upcoming 100 days right so people before starting the ones who do not know me let me quickly introduce myself my name is Vaseem Bhatt and I'm your chemistry educator on this particular Unacademy NEET English channel okay so in this particular session which is for all the NEET 2024 aspirants in this particular session I'm going to address all those NEET 2024 aspirants who are feeling uh, very less confident about their preparation all those students who are yet to start the preparation all those students who think their preparation is not up to the date. How exactly you should strategize these 100 days? In this particular session, I'm going to let you know every single thing and I'm pretty much sure my dear students, if you follow the things which I let you know in this particular session, right? I'm pretty much sure you can score really good in your upcoming May 2024 examination. My job is to keep you motivated. My job is to give you the proper guide. My job is to be the proper guide for you, right? So that is the reason why I keep on coming up with all these strategy videos again and again so that you remain motivated, so that you feel like there is someone who keeps on guiding you all the time, right? So people, let's get started and let's see what exactly we have to do. So as we all must know, we have got almost 110 days left till our NEET 2024 examination. Now the point is, how do we strategize these 110 days? Point number one, my dear students. You know, there are almost almost 75 to 79 chapters in your physics, chemistry and biology. If I talk in the combined manner, almost there are 79 chapters. Now in those 79 chapters, there'll be almost some 30 chapters which are considered to be very high weighted chapters. So my first suggestion for those students who are yet to start their preparation or who think their preparation is not up to the, date, up to the mark, I would want you guys to start with the high weighted chapters first. So you need to prioritize the high weighted chapters first, guys, right? So if I particularly, specifically, if I talk about the subject chemistry, in chemistry, your high weighted chapters are your chemical bonding, for example, general organic chemistry is there, equilibrium chapter is there, thermodynamics is there, electrochemistry is there, right? Perfect. Similarly, hydrocarbons are is there, coordination compounds is there. So these are basically your high weighted chapters and from every chapter, you'll be getting almost some three to four questions. So it is high time to prioritize these chapters first. Instead of doing small, small chapters in the beginning, it is preferred at this particular point of time to cover the highest weighted chapters first, then do the small, small chapters from which you get one question from a chapter, right? This will be my point number one. Point number two, as I told you, almost you have got 110 days left till your examination. In those 110 days, how you will bifurcate these 110 days, that is the point. My dear students, I would suggest one simple thing. See, since you have got 100, 110 days left till your examination, and a lot of people will be thinking it's not enough to crack this examination, but I am telling you, we are telling you here, it is possible to crack this examination if you have got that dedication in you, right? If you have that focus mind, focus goal in front of you, right? Then only you can do it if you are starting from zero as well. Perfect. So for that matter, what you have to do, prioritize the highest weighted chapters first. Number one. Number two, out of 110 days, you have to dedicate 75 days for the syllabus completion. 75 days you have to completely dedicate for the syllabus completion. So your whole syllabus, your almost 75 chapters, they should be covered in 75 days, right? So if you start from today itself, dedicated dedicate the upcoming 75 days for the 75 chapters for that you will have to make your daily targets for that you will have to make your plan which you will follow and which you will accomplish at the same time right so 75 chapters to be done in 75 days this has to be the only thing which has to be in your mind from today itself from today itself right that you have to complete 75 chapters in 75 days that means one chapter has to be done and dusted on a single day this has to be in your mind all the time from now on, people. Again and again, I'm repeating the same thing, right? Now, the last 20 to 30 days which you'll be getting, you can do the revision and you can 
follow the mock tests properly in those last 20 to 30 days and in those last 20 to 30 days approximately you can write some 50 mock tests and writing 50 mock tests in the last month is going to be more than sufficient for your preparation trust me on that by writing these mock tests you'll get to know your strengths you'll get to know about your weaknesses you'll get to know about the time management you'll learn how to sit into the examination but these have to be the authentic mock tests my dear students right the authentic mock tests i'm talking about as per the new as per the new nmc guidelines right now people as i told you one chapter has to be done on a given day now how exactly you'll complete a chapter how exactly you will get the confidence that you have completed a chapter how exactly for that if you are starting a chapter first of all you have to cover its lecture on a single day right you have to cover all its lectures right so it is preferable it is preferable to watch the detailed one shot of the chapter right detailed detailed means some 8 to 10 hours you can watch that at 1.5 x speed as well no issues at all right so you have to complete the lecture whatever problems your teacher will be solving in the lecture you have to solve the same questions again without seeing the solution once you are done with this part one ncrt reading is must on a part in a particular chapter and once you are done with ncrt reading then module solving and pyq solving all these things are to be done for a particular chapter on a given day on a given day my dear students right for example i'm start you're starting the mole concept perfect so on a given day if it takes you 10 hours to do complete this entire process okay let it be it might take 12 hours for some students too let it be it might take 14 hours for some students too to complete this entire process for a particular chapter right let it be it might take six hours also for a particular student to cover to do all these things on a single day for a particular chapter correct perfect but all the time you have to keep your brain focused that there are only 100 days left you're doing something effective on a particular day you have to look at your goal all the time then only you can do something good perfect because time because you do not have enough time to wait now my dear students okay a lot of students will be thinking after boards will be starting the preparation guys it'll be too late then it'll be very 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 late then so you have to do all these things right you have to start all these things from today itself perfect and at the same time you have to rotate the subjects on every other day for example uh, let's say today you'll be doing the one chapter from, from chemistry. Tomorrow you'll do one chapter from physics. Day after tomorrow you'll do another chapter from zoology. Other day you'll do other chapter from your botany portion. So you have to keep on rotating the subjects all the time so that you give proper time to all these subjects. Okay. So rotating subjects is very important because some of the students, they might like studying biology more. They might like studying uh, physics more, chemistry more you do not have to keep that as a criteria the subject which you like to study more no you have to change the subjects on every other day people perfect that's how you'll assign proper timings that's how you'll assign proper hours to all the subjects perfect and apart from that apart from that prioritize biology more biology has to be prioritized the maximum okay Pri biology has to be prioritized the maximum that's why I'm telling you one day for physics, one for chemistry, one for zoology, one for botany. So if you look at it from the general perspective, that means technically you are giving two days to your biology, right? Among four days, you are giving two days to your biology and you have to give these two days to your biology. Perfect. Because biology, it is your half of your need, right? If you, trust me, I have seen people who, who can, who secured, right? I've seen people who secured more than 350 in the biology and that's achievable. That's achievable. That's easy too. Perfect. So cover this majority chunk of marks from biology itself. Perfect. Cover this majority chunk of the marks from biology itself. What is the big deal? So that's why prioritize biology more. Keep on revising biology all the time. Right? Keep on revising biology all the time. Perfect. And people, this is something which I keep on telling you all the time. This is not the time to have any sort of distractions. Be your goal specific. Perfect. Try to imagine yourself all the time in your white coat. That's something which will keep on driving you all the time to do this kind of the hard work which I'm telling you right now. And my dear students, this Unacademy Neat English team, particularly for those people who cannot remain disciplined all the time, particularly for you guys, we are going to launch one batch. That is going to be NEAT Endgame 2.0 batch, which is going to be launched on 22nd of January. So all those students 
who are yet to start the preparation, all those students who think their preparation is not up to the mark, my dear students, there is still one last chance for you guys to complete your whole syllabus with us, with us, with your Unacademy NEET English team on Unacademy platform. This NEET Endgame 2.0 batch is starting on 22nd January. And now you must be thinking what we are planning in this NEET Endgame 2.0 batch. My dear students, we are going to cover your whole syllabus in this particular batch. And all the chapters which we shall be covering will be starting from exact basics only. We'll be starting from exact scratch only. For example, right, this particular batch is for all those students who have not studied anything yet. So you can understand from where we are going to start, right? We are going to complete the entire chapter in detail, first of all. All the theory, problem patterns, everything will be discussed in the sessions. Whole syllabus will be completed in this particular batch, right? Which is a neat endgame 2.0. And if you are worried about the mock tests, all the chapter-wise mock tests will be provided, right? We'll be providing you the chapter-wise assignments as well, which you will be solving, right? And there'll be assignment discussions, there'll be test discussions at the same time, perfect. So all those students who have not started their preparation yet, or all those particular students who have started the preparation, but they are not feeling really confident about their preparation, this particular NEAT Endgame 2.0 batch, which is, starting, which is starting on 22nd of January right 22nd of january we are starting this particular batch on an academy platform perfect so people this is going to be going to be the one stop solution for everyone for all those particular students who think their preparation is not up to the day now a lot of students must be thinking the what is the pricing of this particular batch my dear students let's exactly get to know what is the price of this particular batch for that what where we need to go this is the channel which you are watching right now right if i go to the live category in the live category Lately, I have taken one video over here. Just let me show it to you. This particular video, for example, last chance. Perfect. And here is a link for that. You just have to click on that link. After clicking on the link using the code WASSIM10, you are just going getting this particular batch for 4,500, which is completely affordable, I believe. Even I'm going to keep the link of this particular batch in the description box of this particular video as well. Perfect. Right. So all those students, again, who are yet to start the preparation, who think their preparation is not up to the mark. In this particular batch, we are going to complete your whole syllabus on time, right? Perfect. We are almost six teachers which are assigned to this particular batch and we are going to do it. Perfect. From the basics, every chapter from the basics, every chapter from the scratch, all the theory, all the problem patterns, your chapter wise mock tests, right? Your chapter wise assignments, everything will be providing, everything we will be providing you. And my dear students, let's join this particular batch. And let's make these 100 days the most effective, right, when it comes to your NEET 2024 preparation. I hope you found this particular video, video very effective. So get enrolled as soon as possible. I'll see you all in the batch which we are starting on 22nd of January. The NEET Endgame 2.0. Remember it. Perfect. So do get enrolled as soon as possible because this pricing is for very lesser time, right? Maybe after a few days, the price will again hike up. Perfect. So get enrolled as soon as possible. The batch is starting on 22nd of January, 22nd of this particular month. Perfect. So people with this, I'll be taking a leave. Take care. God bless you all and love you all.